Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, it's a bit chilly out today because there's a wind and it's kind of freezing my face. So I'm going to get this uh, video done quickly. So today I'm out here with another RC plane because many of you have asked for more RC plane videos with me flying in the cold, in the snow. I don't know why everybody wants to see me in the snow, in the cold, freezing to death, flying RC planes, but you do. So I have one out again today. So this plane is a massive size plane. It is a bush plane and it's called the Mall. It is by East Light in the wind is blowing it everywhere. I'm not going to hold it like that anymore. Hang on a sec, guys. Okay, I've got two hands on it now. <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, so back to what I was saying. So it's the mall. It's by E-Flight. And I... Whoa, the wind's coming again. <laughs> Hang on. This is what I'm telling you. This is going to be an interesting video. I put skis on it for the snow. Do you see the skis here? i got to hang on to this with two heads. There we go. It's so freaking big. <laughs> so there we go. You see the skis right here? We're going to go and fly it, uh, taking off off the snow with these skis because it is winter time now you can fly with other items on the bottom like this plane does come with floats for taking off on the water and that works in really good powder snow but right now the snow's a little bit fluffy and kind of hard but uh, i think it'll work okay as long as i haven't destroyed the plane dropping it everywhere so we'll see how it flies in the wind i'm going to put links to these skis below if you have a mall go get them if you don't have this plane and i haven't destroyed it by the end of this video well i'll put links to that again it really wants to fly this is called a stall plane. Stall means short takeoff and land. It means with the thrust from the motor, if I put the flaps on, it should only move a very short distance and then take off. It doesn't need a lot of runway and it doesn't need a lot of runway to land too if you land into the wind with your flaps on and everything else. Anyways, let's go try it. I'm freezing out here and I'm destroying this plane. So here we go. The battery I'm going to use for this flight is, I just brought a 3S battery. Now you can fly this on a 4 cell battery, a 4S battery, but I'm going to use a 3S battery because I do not want anything aggressive today, <laughs> not for this flight with the winds that are happening. I'm not doing any flips or rolls or anything crazy, just a nice slow flight so I can catch it on this GoPro. Got to fly slow to catch it on the GoPro. So with a 3S battery, it's very relaxing. So the battery fits in the front right in here. And you just put the battery all the way to the front. So let me connect this. It's gonna do its little dance. Get my hand out of the prop. Oh, it's cold out here with the breeze and the wind. I guess I can't do this with gloves on. The great thing with this plane is you can put a really large battery in it. You can put, see this is a skinny little 3S. You can put like a 3200 3S or 4S in here. Much larger battery, longer flight time for certain. And in the summertime, that's what I fly it on because I want to stay up for a long time. Today, I don't want to stay in the air too long. I'm freezing out here. All right, we're good. Put the hatch back on. How does this go on? Goes on somehow. How do you go on? This way? This way. There we go. That's what happens, the brain freezes. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's get this away from all the footprints over here. Get some nice ground. You see it out there, nice and smooth. There we go, little camera up top to capture the footage. As you can see an LED light here. I don't know if my hat cam picks it up. And also you have one in the front over here. Very important when you're flying on dull days because you can see the lights and orientate yourself. So let's try the stall capabilities. What I do is I put the flaps on full. These are flaps here for the newbies. So you got one Flap level one. and second. Flap it's almost like two. straight down. There we go. So it should rise with very little runway here. Ready? Here we go. Motor on. There we go. Straight up. And there we are. There we go. The wind's going to knock it around in the air quite a bit. Oh my God, is it ever? What I'll do is I'll get it to go more a little bit into the wind. So here it's coming at me. I'm going to kill the throttle, bring it down nice and low. It's bouncing around in the wind because I have it on low, low throttle. Look at the wind just knock it around. It's over top. <laughs> and there we go. Well, the skis worked. That was the main thing today. Okay, so watch this. I'll turn it into the wind. She's going straight into the wind. You got to give it a little throttle or else it'll just sit there. And there we go. And then again. So now I'll speed it up a little bit. There we go. I know the sun's there. You can't see much. Here we go. I'll go over my head at a faster speed. Here we go. Let's bring it around at a good speed. Coming at me. There we go. So this plane on a non-windy day flies super smooth, but on a windy day, you see it bouncing around in the air. Yeah, that's just, it's 
me and the plane tried to accommodate the wind. All right, I'm blinding myself going in the sun here. Another slow pass, go over us. There we go, how's that for a slow pass? It looks pretty cool. It's a nice looking plane, that's for sure. All right, my lips and nose and eyeballs are freezing. Flying planes in the winter means you have to dress appropriately. I'm not really dressed appropriately here. I gotta bring it this way close to me, here we go. Going over top again, here we go. And then turning, woohoo! <laughs> All right, so now to land it, you've got the problem with the wind. So it's best to always land into the wind. So I'm gonna fly it this way, which is a little strange, over all the cars out there. And I'm gonna kill the throttle soon, and I'm gonna turn it. Here we go, we're coming down for a landing, there we are. So I'm going right into the wind. It should just land like a little baby. Let me just put some power here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That was not what I intended to do. Okay, when landing into the wind, you might want to give it a little bit more throttle. I was on and off in the throttle. That was not a good landing, but you know, any landing that the plane survives, that's good. And it also shows me that the skis work wonderfully. Steve over here drives this FPV. You saw the little FP unit on top. And you have ELRS on there, Steve? Yes, I had ELRS, now it's just a long range uh, radio link radio. Just checking everything, make sure everything still works. Everything's really good. Flaps. Flaps position two, flaps level. All perfect, good. And of course the motor still works. Safe. Motor arm. Motor All good, all right. Reset. There we go, so everything's on safe. I can put this away, the remote over here. So that was the flight of this plane. Now. As I mentioned at the start of this video, a lot of you love when I do the RC plane videos because anything can happen in an RC plane video. I know it's a drone channel, uh, but RC plane flying is something I really enjoy doing as well as everything else in the RC hobby. You're not just drones, that's for sure. So every now and then I'll show some RC plane videos in the winter time because that's when they're the most fun. And uh, unfortunately, it's always very cold and freezy, so they're always gonna be short flights like this one was. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This plane is not new. It's been around for a long time. This is the flight mall and uh, it's pretty darn big you better have a big car if you buy this because you got to fit the wings and everything although the wings do come off for transportation I just leave it all together but it's very economical flies for a long time you don't need a big runway so if you live someplace where you have tall grass everywhere no runway it's got big wheels it comes with and uh, yeah you can take off really fast and if you fly into the wind and put the flaps on, which I did not do <laughs> because I killed the throttle, bringing it down, trying to avoid the trees, then you can land it within like a foot. It's, there's lots of videos online of people doing it. It's really cool for that. And it does come with floats for the summertime so you can take off and land on water, which is a lot of fun. So with all that said, hope you enjoyed this video and I will put links below to the skis that I stuck on. It doesn't come with skis. They're aftermarket ones. I just put them on last night, gave it a shot, see how it would work. And it's pretty cool that they're the same color. <laughs> So it looks pretty good. Well, can you see with all the snow here? It's really good looking. So with all that said, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Links to everything is below. If you want to get into the RC plane hobby, if you don't know how to fly an RC plane, I'll put a link to one of my tutorial videos below too, where I show it halfway through the video with beginner planes and you can check that out. But for now I say I'm going in to get a coffee and warm up. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with drones, possibly drones. Until then I say bye.